am Rabi Jemukoku. Um, I also go by the name Ria the Cooking Dietitian because I'm a dietitian who's also a chef and the name of my company is called Plates and Scales. And Plates and Scales is essentially a health orientated catering company. We're all about trying to give our clients the healthiest food, wherever we are, whatever the setting, that's what we're all about. Um, so I actually come from a quite a strong entrepreneurial background. My dad was an entrepreneur. I think he worked formal work for like a few years and he thought, um, nah, I'm okay with this. And he started his own business. He had a shop. Um, he he was one of the first, the tender. My, my dad started with tenders back in the days. Uh, he used to do the food scheme tenders. He used to deliver food, sell chickens. He had a hardware store, a grocery store, so everything. So I've been exposed to the entrepreneurial life from way back. And when I qualified as a dietitian, I, I realized that working a nine to five, working for somebody, was just definitely not for me and was just really going to hold back my passion for cooking. I realized that there was a big need for health oriented catering companies um, that could just really literally give good food and great service and that's why I started my company. When it comes to failure, I'm fearless. Why? Because I understand that uh, there will always be failures. Um, look, in every journey, in every situation, even even from simple things like parenting, you will get some things wrong. And I, 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 I've normalized failure, um, so I'm not fearful around it. I know that it happens. And with, I always say with failure comes growth. I think one of the biggest failures and what held us back from growing as rapidly as we're currently growing was I wanted to be a one-man show for the longest time. Um, I wanted to optimize on profits because we all started a business because we want to make money. Um, and I wanted to make money really quickly and be able to live a life that I, I imagined that I deserved. <laughs> and I would end up wanting to do everything and not hire enough people. And what that means that that great service that I envisioned giving people wasn't there. Um, it means that it meant that we were doing a lot of mistakes. It meant that the food wasn't as the, it wasn't the greatest quality that I wanted it to be. And that cut, we, we lost quite a few clients with that because clients would say, but this is not the service that you promised us or this is not the service that we wanted or things like that. Then I realized that, you know what, girl, being a one more show has to stop. You need to hire people, you need the help in order to grow. And every entrepreneur needs to remember that it's okay to fail. Um, what's not okay is failing to learn from your failures. Because if there are no lessons taken from your failures, then you will continue to make the very same failures. Um, so yeah, I would definitely say to entrepreneurs, learn to embrace failure. The other thing, don't sit and waddle too long in your failures. Sometimes we take too long to get up um, and that really stifles, stifles the business. So embrace failure, learn to move past your failures, take lessons from your failure. Have your moment, like I'm not saying that you shouldn't cry, have your moment to stop and to take it all in because running a business, most of us, we run our business because of passion. And when there's failure, you get hit hard. It's okay to stop and to take in the emotions and to cry. But after crying, dust yourself up and get back again with the lessons that you've learned. So once failure happens, it's okay to stop and cry. Number two, dust yourself up and remember the lessons. Number three, try by all means to avoid the previous failures because when you avoid them, it means that you've taken lessons from the past. So always embrace and take lessons. The most important thing is to learn from your mistakes and try to avoid them by all means and keep moving forward. That's the key, keep moving forward. Mm -hmm.